Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Top 5 Friday and today is the last day we're talking about movies for a while. I know some of you are anxious to get back to the books and that's cool and we will get that in the next episode of Top 5 Friday. But today we are talking about my Top 5 International Shutter Films. Sorry this video is so late, I meant for it to be up right after the top five Shutter films, but there were a couple of movies I wanted to watch to make sure I didn't leave any out, and I'm really glad that I did. But before we jump into my subjective list of my top five international Shutter films, let's hear from a pair of special guests. What's going on, everybody? I'm Jeremiah Bannister. And I am Chad Lutsky. We are the hosts of Paleo Cheese Podcast, and yeah. we're here to offer our favorite international film on Shutter. Good film. Dude, I thought this was about international food. No, dude, this is about this is about film. <laughs> I had this whole spiel, man. I've been like prepping all week for this. I had I was gonna talk about freaking tacos, man. Dude, when do we ever talk about food? We always talk about movies and books. Yeah, we've talked about food before. Once. Yeah, so alright. So what's our favorite international film, Chad? On Shutter. <laughs> yeah, on Shutter. What is our favorite international film on Shutter? It is Terrified mm -hmm. from Argentina. Uh, yeah, dude, that's totally right. <laughs> that movie is absolutely freakish, dude. Oh, great! <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh yeah. Dude, the bathroom scene? <laughs> it haunted me for like a week, that bathroom scene. Yeah. In the, the little dead boy at the table. And the thing under the bed and the the creature or the thing running toward the car. Yes. Yeah. Dude, so good. So the so freaking good. Even the jump scares were done really well. Yeah, they were, man. Every single jump scare. And that's hard. But bro, the bathroom scene. Dude, the bathroom scene. <laughs> so that's our pick, everybody. Terrified from Argentina. And, you know, watch it while you're eating some tacos. Yeah, that, that, that was great. Thanks, guys. Uh, I appreciate you stopping by. Um, I reached out to Chad for this, and I'm so glad that I did. That The, the, the segment with... Uh, that watching the actual movie was was utter perfection. Uh, if you have a YouTube channel and you would like to be a special guest on this show, just uh, drop me a comment or hit me up on Twitter. Twitter is the best place to reach me. That is at Edward Lorne. It's spelled the exact same way as the, the channel name. So my name. My name's E, yes, but that's how y'all know me. Edward Lorne is the business side. Anyways, I'm E. Let's get on with the list. Number five. Number five is the Queen of Black Magic remake. And if you guys like the original better, that's fine. I have not watched it yet. Um, but I did really, really enjoy this one. Um, throughout the whole thing, I was unsettled and freaked out. And I was never quite sure where it was going. There was a lot of, a lot of really good uh, scares in this one. Like uh, the guys we were talking about with uh, from Paleo Cheese. They were talking about uh the the scenes in terrified which is another good movie i didn't love it as much as them but i i think this one i i prefer more not that theirs is bad or anything even though chad lutsky likes the shining kubrick's the shining we're not going to hold that against <laughs> i know most of you not because you agree with them anyways but uh yeah this is th this movie's a lot of fun a lot of creepy scary fun um if you haven't watched i don't want to say too much about it but if you haven't watched it Definitely watch it and check back in with me and we'll have a talk. Number four. Number four is Demons by Dario Argento. Pretty sure I got that right. I always get like Lucio Fulci and I, I get a bunch of those guys confused, but I'm pretty sure it's Dario Argento. Um, fantastic movie if you are of a certain mindset. Um, it is very, very low budget. The practical effects are silly. Um, but it is so much fun. If you have not watched it, and it's almost identical sequel, uh, one happens in, they're trapped in a movie theater. This is the first one. The second one, they're trapped in a high-rise or apartment complex, something like that. Both of them are worth watching. At least I feel they are. 
Um, they even reuse the actors. So actors that died in the first movie are back for the second movie. I thought that was a trip. It was a lot of fun. Kind of like Evil Dead, Sam Raimi's Evil Dead, and Evil Dead 2. It's kind of, you know, they just brought back, they, they came back with a bigger budget, even though it still wasn't very big in Demons 2. But if, if you like, if you like gruesome but cheesy special effects um, and some of the worst dubbing you have ever heard in your life, definitely check out Demons. Number three. Okay, so at number three we have Audition, uh, which is actually a Ryu Mitakami adaptation. Um, his book Audition was adapted into this movie. It has one of the most disturbing scenes I have ever seen in cinema, um, but I don't think it's as disturbing without the whole first part of the draggy part of the, the movie. Um, I, I wasn't too interested in it until we got to the bag. Um, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen it, I won't spoil it for you. Um, and then all of a sudden my interest was completely peaked and the rest of the movie was fantastic. I've watched it several times since that first viewing and I like the whole movie now. Um, at first I was like, what's the big deal here? And then we got to the big deal and it became a favorite. Number two. Okay, so at number two, we have Train to Busan. Uh, everybody who's seen this movie knows why it's on the list. Um, it is a fantastic, heartfelt zombie romp uh, that will probably make you cry at the end. Um, at least it did me. Uh, most people that I hear talking about this movie talk about how the ending utterly destroyed them. Um, but the special effects, it's a big, fun movie with a lot of heart. Um, and you, you just... I think it made as big of a splash as it did because of the heart, um, because of all the 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 passion that the filmmakers had and the story that they wanted to tell. Even though it is just another like World War Z type zombie running zombie kind of movie, there's a lot more to that movie under the surface, and I really really appreciated that. Number one. Okay, so at number one we have Yummy. Um, Yummy is. Another zombie movie. I'm not a huge fan of zombie movies, but I think that's why Train to Busan and Yummy stand out. Well, I, I think that's, you know, they stand out from the crowd, and I think that's why I love them so much. Yummy is one of those movies, I had no idea it was going to be as funny as it was. Um, the funniest part in the entire movie is the fire extinguisher section. Once again, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, oh my god, wait till you get to it. Um, I... This one, I love how good the practical effects were, but at the same time, the acting was good, the script, the writing was good, the cinematography, it looked great. The entire movie was a blast from beginning to end. Um, it's it's one of those films that comes along, uh, it's not once in a lifetime, of course, I'm not going to say that, but it's like Shaun of the Dead. We There seems to be a huge gulf in between these types of movies, and I think that's for the best, because people watch certain things like Shaun of the Dead. They enjoy it. People come out of the woodwork trying to replicate that that thing, and they just keep, keep missing, because, as you know, it's a happy accident that that movie was so good. Um, but then you have something like... Yep, yeah, uh, sorry, it's a happy accident that that movie became as popular as it did, talking about Shaun of the Dead. Same with Yummy. Um, I think they captured some real magic here. I don't know if it's a cult classic kind of deal, but I had a lot of fun with it, and I really couldn't put it anywhere else other than number one on this list. So those are my top five favorite international Shudder films. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I would love to hear from you guys what your favorite international Shudder films are, but many, many thanks to Paleo Cheese. Uh, you guys were great. I appreciate you coming on the show uh, and you know sending in your video. It was a lot of fun. I watched it several times, uh, laughed every single time. So I appreciate you guys. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Top 5 Friday. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.